Uh, McKinsey also found that the gender diversity in leadership provides organisations with different per perspectives. Uh, I work with a lot of women every day and I know that uh, women have different decision making uh, capabilities. Men to be, tend to be individual and, and, and make a, a decision where women are more collaborative and you need both within your organisation if your organisation's going to grow within the future. Uh, at TMB we recognise uh, that we still have more to do. Uh, when you look at those stats, 30% of our management team are female, 28% are in the executive. But really, we have to probably start to set some targets, and uh, we've been talking about this for some time. Uh, it's good to see even Westpac, one of our big competitors out there, one of the big listed banks came out and they've set a target of 50% for women over the next few years. So uh, we should be looking about the same level, particularly as we've got 75% of our employees are women within the organisation. Um, one area we have been successful in recently though is IT has always been seen as being pretty well male dominated and uh, in most US companies and around the world there's only about 25% women in the IT area of your organisation and uh, what we've been able to do is increase that up to 34% at Teachers Mutual Bank and put a number of women into leading management positions within our IT department. So we're pretty proud of that because it has been a, a male dominated area uh, for a long time. Um, it's interesting, we mentioned the McKinsey report before. Uh, there was something like 1,400 managers uh, looked at uh, during this particular um, uh, study and one of the striking results was the finding of women want to become top leaders um, but are less confident than men are being able to achieve this. And it's not being less confident about their individual abilities or their education or, or whatever, it's about the environment they're in, the environment within the financial organisations or the organisations that they feel less confident with. And, and that's up to 15%. Uh, between uh, females and males, the females feel uh, less confident. So we have to build the environments where women feel confident and want to strive for those top uh, leading positions. And I'll, I'll close now, but there's a couple of points that I think are probably important that I would like to get across and some initiatives. Um, workplace education for women and men on flexible options for balancing work and family responsibilities communication programs to dispel the myths that work flex flexibility is not an option. If you move higher up the career ladder, it certainly is. There's a bit of a perception uh, that drive, uh, the women's uh, drive and ambition is more aggressive than males, and I can tell you it's not. And uh, certainly they are ambitious, but, but uh, we want ambitious people for the future.